is Islam, and this is Kairouan, one of the holiest of Muslim holy places. Dedicated to the faith of Muhammad, from the minaret of the mosque, the muezzin calls the faithful to prayer. Allah, illa Allah, Muhammad, Rasul, illallah. Seems like the Arabian Nights in the 20th century. This is the mosque of the barber. Seen through a Moorish grill, the shrine of the beard-trimming barber sounds like the thousand and one night. The pious Muslim upon entering takes off his shoes, and according to the Mohammedan way, only men come to the mosque to pray. In the holy city of Karawan, they pray facing the direction of the still holier city of Mecca. And they read from the holy book, the Quran. They're pilgrims from afar. For the saying is that seven pilgrimages to Kairouan are equal to one grand pilgrimage to Mecca. The faithful and their footgear, so typical a sight in Islam. The holy city of Kairouan is likewise a place of thriving industry and commerce. Streets lined with shops, geese. Antiquity of another sort greets us here. Roman ruins in the desert. Signs of ancient empire that teach a lesson in the clash of empire today. Tunis was ancient Carthage, which dominated that narrow stretch of the Mediterranean across to Italian Sicily. Roman Carthage fought it out. And Rome won the victory and the empire. So we see majestic Roman ruins and a mighty Colosseum. Strangely like that familiar Colosseum in Rome. Modern France disputes the claims of modern Italy in the land where Carthage once disputed Rome. 